Hey everybody, welcome to Cardinal Conversations. My name is Jeff Mitchell, Director of Athletics, and this is Avery Finchel, graduate student for Women's to Soccer, and we're going to have a conversation today. So Avery, you grew up in Michigan. Yep. Tell me about growing up in Michigan and playing soccer. The soccer in Michigan is like really competitive. We have a lot of local club teams um, just in the area, even around Novi, Detroit area. Um, so it's always been super competitive, started club at a young age. And so just having that competitive nature throughout my whole childhood growing up. My high school team, when I got there, that was competitive. And most people think high school soccer is just an easy, fun thing to do. And yeah. I would say our area was pretty competitive. So making it to state championship twice, winning both, uh, was a pretty cool experience. One of the fun things about watching you play soccer is that competitiveness. And you're everywhere on the field, and you have this tenacity about you. Your dad even called you monster baby, I think, <laughs> growing up. What was that about? Um, yeah, my parents always called me Master Baby. I was getting into a lot of trouble when I was younger as a little baby. But um, I've always had that drive to be like working hard. Um, and so I think everything I do in life, just always getting after everything, whether that's sports, school. And so I think that tendency of monster is like always aggressive and everything. So I think that helps me in soccer. Well, and it certainly has helped you in soccer because you come in with a lot of accolades as you came in to Ball State uh, as a freshman, and then certainly you're rewriting the record books. You know, my daughter, Harper, plays soccer, and she is a junior in high school. What advice do you have for aspiring collegiate soccer players like my daughter and others that, that are out there? Yeah, I think we talked about this, um, about the work ethic. I think that's a really big thing, is just coaches look for a strong work ethic, look for players that are coachable. Um, and a good teammate. I think that's a really big thing here at Ball State with our culture of our soccer team um, is just being a good teammate, whether that's on the field, off the field. So I think those things are things you can control and so I would focus on those and that's a big part of recruitment that coaches look for is being a good person. So as a leader on the women's soccer team here at Ball State, are there things that you're doing to help your teammates be successful? Yeah. Have you grown over your five years here? Coming in, obviously, it's always you're a little timid as a freshman, um, but getting to play a role right away um, obviously helped with that and able to talk to my teammates, play with them. Um, so I think just becoming a leader, growing as a leader, our coaches help us. Um, but even this year, like taking initiative, we only have two graduate students, and so I think getting the team together after after a tough loss and like regenerating motivation um, to help us get us going for the next game. And so I think that's really important as leaders to like pick your team up when maybe they're not feeling it. And even if you're not feeling it, like you got to show like, I want to be here today, like I want to do this. And so I think that's a big thing that I've been able to improve over the years. Yeah, you have, you have to show up. I mean, that, that's kind of the call every day is be present today. Yeah. Regardless of how difficult it might be. Yeah, yeah. What has been the favorite element of playing college soccer at Ball State? Um, I think being part of a team. That's been the most rewarding. I've made so many friends along the way, yeah. um, whether they've graduated already, just coming in, and then obviously just the soccer bar. I love soccer, so like every game and practice I get the chance to play um, is an opportunity for me to go and create something bigger than myself. Do you have anything that you do going into a match in terms of your preparation several days beforehand or uh, or maybe the day of anything that's unique or is it just a level of consistency that you've approached every soccer match that you've ever played? I definitely have some pre-game and some pre-day rituals. Um, so one of those is, well, I always eat pasta the day before a game. Okay. Um, and then we always get pregame ice cream, of course, um, the Pre night before pre -game. a game. Pregame, okay, yeah. pregame Yeah, the, the, night, the night before okay. we get ice cream. And then some rituals I have is my hair. Um, I usually do it the same way, using the same hair ties for one season. During the national anthem, I have a certain thing I do, like with my legs. I would say our team is pretty superstitious. Like even spots in the warm up or like certain passing things that we do or pregame practices, everyone is on the same cone, the same spot in line. 
the first few days, we kind of get the fresh one on board with it and get become superstitious. And then once we've got that rolling, it kind of just happens naturally the rest of the season. And what about the Ball State experience as a whole? What has stood out most to you that has impacted your time here on campus? I think the people around me. I've been lucky to have the same coach um, all years I've been here. And I think even just confidence overall, whether that's in soccer or not in soccer, um, I think having confidence in everything you do. Um, being a student athlete, you kind of carry a big weight on your shoulders um, and people look up to you a lot. And so being a role model for others um, and helping, helping other people, helping teammates, um, something that I've taken with me. Well, Avery, we're here at Frog Baby, an iconic spot on campus. We talk often about student athletes and their leadership. And I'm often fond of saying that as student athletes on campus, you're leaders whether you want to be or not. And it strikes me that you're an incredible leader, not only on our women's soccer team, but you just have the persona about you of being a great leader. Do you think often about leadership and what it means now and what it might mean in the future? Yeah, I think so. I think now with soccer, school, like you said, whether that school is just even like a small group project helping lead, or whether that's soccer, um, especially for those younger players, whether that's giving them a new skill and helping them gain confidence in that, or whether that's instilling a new mindset, um, like we're going to be MAC champions type of mindset. And I think just part of being a leader is just getting better every day and being the best you can, you can be. And like we talked about earlier, being present, um, even when you might not feel like it one day. And so I think I'm always striving um, for that and trying to instill that into other people. So it's your last year of college eligibility, about halfway through the season. Do you think about the fact that this is coming to an end? Yeah, I do. Um, I've had a great time here at Ball State. I've been lucky enough to have five years. Not many people can say they've been able to play soccer for five years in college. Um, and so I think, I think it's going to be bittersweet um, coming to an end, not even just uh, like college athletics part, um, but just leaving my teammates, um, my coaches, all the people I've met along the way. Um, but luckily for me, I think I'm going to try to keep playing somewhere professionally, um, whether that's overseas or in the U.S., but I'm not ready to be done yet, not ready to hang up the cleats, so hopefully a little longer and then get into work fun part so <laughs> that's great we, we certainly are pulling for you uh, in that professional journey when you talk about your soccer experience here at Ball State and we referenced earlier that you're rewriting the record books you are three goals away from being the all-time leading scorer you're tied for second right now do you think about that much and what does that mean to you yeah I do a little bit um, I mean I've worked a lot to get to that point um, it's taken a lot of extra practice and um, playing in games, but I think, I think I do think about it a little bit. I'm striving to obviously get there, but I try not to put too much pressure on myself because I think that's when I make things harder. So I think just going out there and playing every game, and if it comes, it comes, but if not, um, I think just having been a part of it, I think that's pretty good in itself. So I, I just hope I can get there, but at the same time, our team has accomplished a lot, and I'm looking, obviously, what we don't have is a MAC championship, and so that's the main goal, and so if I get those three goals, I do, but if not, a MAC championship would be what I really want. Yeah, it's obviously a team sport, but with the accomplishments that you have, that you have etched your name in those record books, and what does the term legacy mean to you, just as we continue to grow the women's soccer program here at Ball State? Yeah, I mean, I know people will remember for the success because of the record book, but I think remembering for the person I was, the teammate I was, um, I'd like to leave that legacy here and kind of shaping the team into what I hope they can become. And obviously, like we talked about that championship mindset, like we're, we want to win a math championship. And so I think leaving that behind um, and instilling that in other people is going to be a big thing for me. And hopefully that's a legacy I can leave as some, a championship team. Do you have a piece of advice that you would leave with the, the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, those that are coming to behind you, is there something that you tell them? Yeah, I mean, it's cliche about the time moving fast, but I think taking it one game at a time, um, not focusing on the big picture. Our coaches talk about focusing on the process all the time, and so I think that's a really big thing that I'll take with me and that I think other people should really dive into is one game at a time um, will lead you to where you want to go, but if you just focus on the end result, that's 
it's gonna fly by before you know it and so I think just enjoying every moment of it and it, it's a lot of work at times it's really serious sometimes it's stressful but getting a smile I think one of my assistant coaches um, my junior year taught me like you can smile it's okay to smile yeah. like enjoy it while you're here and so I think that's a big thing I yeah. that's a great piece of advice people. you've had a lot of advice as you've grown and developed as a soccer player as a student uh, and uh, chief among them has been your dad. You, you actually consider him to be one of your best friends. Yeah. So talk about your relationship with your dad. Yeah, no, um, he's great. Uh, he's one of my biggest supporters. Obviously my whole family is, um, but he never misses a game. Uh, he's always there for me, always diving into the details after the game, wishing me good luck before the game. And him being a collegiate athlete himself obviously has the drive to work hard every day, um, whether that was in his career or now, he coaches soccer now, and so he's really into it. Always asking me questions, wanting to learn about some of the film and all the logistics of it. But I think just his personality of being, um, like having a strong work ethic and everything, um, his drive to always want to be better, like I talked about, is something I've really taken with me. Um, I would say some of his characteristics I've taken about being stubborn or something has definitely helped me on the soccer field. Maybe not as much as a person, but I think his his personality I've taken, hopefully some of his humor a little bit, but um, I really look up to him. You reference him being a former student athlete. He was a runner in, yeah. in college. So in a midfield sprint, maybe a 50 yard sprint, who wins that race between you and him? Ooh, it's getting pretty close. Um, I would say me. I think I have I think he has more endurance, but I think I've I've gained him on the speed, maybe the strength too. Uh, I would I would I would go with me, but he's close behind. He he's good for for him being older than me. I think I think he's right where he should be. <laughs> Very good, great answer. Thanks for watching Cardinal Conversations. I'm Jeff Mitchell, director of athletics. This is Avery Finchel of the Ball State women's soccer team. Chirp chirp. Go Cards.